what's up guys this is maximize welcome so today guys i have an exciting video on dick okay my nose is like really runny today i'm not sick i just i was out really late last night my boyfriend and i were driving back from somewhere and we always go to either wendy's or mcdonald's mine is typically taco bell but i don't mind mcdonald's we're in the drive through and the guy ahead of us like just pulled in right as we were pulling in and so he cut us off in the uh drive through no big deal that's how it is at mcdonald's you know first come you, you first serve you know what i mean and i respect the game and uh he was taking forever he ordered so much food and uh it's like okay man like it's 1 a.m. Let's get it going. You know, like you should know what you want. He pulls around. We make our order in literally less than 10 seconds. Move right up. The lovely worker hands him his receipt and he throws it on the ground. He just drops it onto the ground. And my boyfriend is like, oh, he's like straight up littering right now. And then he just starts throwing more garbage out of his car onto the ground. You know, <laughs> put your receipt in your cup holder like everyone else and leave it there for six to nine months or put it in your purse until you've accumulated like a hundred and then you throw all of them out. It was just shocking to like see someone actively litter. It's a pet peeve of mine. I think litterers are like the weirdest criminals out there. <laughs> anyway guys, that's my rant. I'm wearing this shirt today. Someone told me that it makes me look like a farmer. Nothing will boost your confidence more you know i'm wearing it out of rebellion i'm like you know what i like farmers what's wrong with farmers you know like they're great so i'm gonna wear it today i wanted to go over my least favorite plants at the moment which are just a couple luckily but they are kind of on my like mm, list you know and i wanted to go over some of my favorite plants at the moment the ones that are just like really showing up and showing off and throwing down. So let's get into my least favorite plants right now. So my first least favorite plant at the moment is the Peperomia variegated pixie. It's lime green and I don't, I'm doing everything I can. So I first repotted it, which I probably repotted it too soon now that I think about it because I got it a few months ago and then I repotted it into a bigger pot. I started realizing like, I think this pot's too big for it. You know, I got like too excited. I bought the plant and the pot I wanted it to go in at the same time. So I think I got too excited about repotting it. And I broke my rule of not repotting plants too quickly, you know, cause it was in a really small pot when I first got it. So I repotted it and then it started suffering like a lot. It started dropping a lot of leaves. It was growing a lot of new leaves at the same time. So I finally was like, okay, this pot is too big. So I'm going to put it in a smaller terracotta pot so it breathes a lot, it releases all the excess moisture, it's not sitting in too much water, it'll be happier, hopefully. So I did that and it's looking worse. I did my best not to disturb the root ball. I really was very careful. When I gently took it out of the pot, put it in a new one, I was so careful. It still is going into even more shock now. And I put her in the brightest window I have for the longest time and it didn't seem to show improvement. I'm watering it less and letting it kind of settle and I just rewatered it right now. I put it in faster draining cactus mix because peperomias don't like to be too wet. They don't like wet feet and I even put her under my grow light because I'm like okay I'm gonna blast you with as much light as possible. I want you to feel the warmth of my love and this grow light that is specifically meant to do that. I'll keep y'all posted but this might be one of those plants that I buy and I immediately kill because I am so evil. But you know what? It happens to all of us. The Peperomia is one of my least favorites, but also one of my favorites because I'm really pulling for her. I'm really like trying my best to get her to not be dead. Okay guys, so my second least favorite plant, it's kind of hard to say that, is the rubber tree. And I know this is a weird one because it's like such a basic like, famous house plant but for some reason it will not grow for me anymore she's just given up and I'm like I don't know like she's not dead she's not dying she's fine she's just like sitting there and it's been probably a year since she's put out a new leaf and I'm like she's right next to my weeping fig ficus which is another ficus so they like a similar climate they like a similar 
exposure, the ficuses are all the same, really. And they're just as sensitive as each other, as the other. My rubber tree has just looked very like sad, depressed, just kind of like, <sighs> and just always dusty. No matter what I do, always dusty. This is a good spot for you. You get a lot of light. I don't overwater you. I'm very careful about not overwatering. I give you some fertilizer sometimes. For some reason, she's not putting on any growth. So I think I'm at the point where I'm just gonna have to move her to a different area and see if that helps because I'm kind of at a loss. That is my rubber tree and they don't like to be repotted that much and I haven't repotted her in a very long time. She's been in her pot and it's a plastic pot so it really holds enough moisture for her because they don't like to be dried out too significantly. My weeping fig is blowing up, doing really well. So if you guys have any ideas, I, I'm kind of at a loss. She's in a south facing window, one of the brightest exposures you can have in a home. If you have any suggestions or other similar failures with these plants, please let me know. <laughs> so one of my favorite plants right now, guys, is my lipstick pagoda plant. This one is literally so amazing. She's putting on so much growth. She loves the spot she's in. I have to do like very minimal care with this plant. It's just really a no brainer, easy plant. And they are kind of rare. They like, you won't walk into Home Depot and see one. If you have, let me know. But I really don't think they're very common. You have to get lucky basically and go to one of those local family owned nurseries because sometimes they will have them here and there, but definitely not super common. So when I saw this plant in a local like family owned nursery, I lost my mind and bought it immediately. And it was like the last one. So I always get lucky and I get the last one. And it's usually like the runt. Like when I first got this lipstick pagoda, it was really rough looking. It had marked up leaves and it had some scarring. And I was like, I'm gonna bring you back. She's really flourishing and Lipstick Pagoda is a superstar. My next favorite plant is the Hoya Macrophylla. So this plant was similar to the rubber tree for the longest time. It just sat there and did nothing. It just looked kind of like, eh, like it was just a statue. And I was like, okay, what's, what, like, are you okay? Are you alive? She finally started just putting on new leaves. So now she has like three or four or five new leaves. You know, she's right in my south facing window. I moved her to my kitchen so she gets even more intense light. And the only thing is she's in a terracotta pot. So I have to water her quite often because it dries out very quickly. So I make sure to water her every week exactly. Because if you're not consistent with the water with Hoyas, they tend to slow down growth or their newer leaves will dry out and die off. It's only on one vine right now and I really want to propagate and fill out the pot even more with multiple vines, but I'm like terrified to do that. <laughs> I want her to grow a few more leaves and grow her confidence. That's a plant, they don't have confidence, but, but I want her to build more confidence and then I'm gonna go for it, guys. I'm gonna try propagating. My next favorite plants, and it's two for one, it's like a two in one deal, because they live right next to each other and they're really cute, is my silver leafed philodendron and my philodendron neon. So these guys love where they are. I just repotted them into a pot that is like an inch or two bigger than what they were in. And I already see new leaves like going crazy, like popping out everywhere. And I just love their coloring so much. I love, you know, how they vine down. They're just like so easy and you really don't have to water them that much at all, especially if they're in plastic. That tends to trap in a lot more moisture so you don't have to water them nearly as much as if they're in terracotta or something. So these guys are just like no brainers, really simple. I leave the window open at night so a lot of fresh air comes in and they get a lot of, you know, good juices from the air, I don't know. But anyway, so my silver leaf philodendron, a lot of people are like, isn't it a silver leaf pothos or whatever? But I really think it's a philodendron because it produces leaves the exact same way my philodendron neon does. They literally have the same leaf shape, same vine shape and width. You know, they literally are both the, the same family. So there's no way that my silver leaf is a pothos. Those are some of my favorites. They're blowing up right now. They've loved being repotted. They didn't go into shock like my peperomia did. And they're just like bulletproof plants. They, as long as you give them bright light and some water here and there, they're happy. And I respect that. 
So guys, that is all. That is my, my list of least and favorite plants right now. They're all gonna survive and hopefully like do okay. So keep my Peperomia in your thoughts. Think positively for her and hope that she recovers. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please like, please comment, and let me know what you wanna see. And please turn on that notification bell so you know every time I post. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.